Yes, we're all ready to go. Five months of waiting for A-League football is over. And what a way to kick off season 10 with the Melbourne victory hosting the Western Sydney Wanderers in Friday night football. The two best supported clubs in the competition with 38,000 plus members between them. And the fans have most certainly brought their A game tonight. Don't worry about that. Let's check on the team news. And four of Kevin Muscat's off-season recruits make their A-League debuts for the club. They are Georgievski and Del Pierre in defence, Socceroo, Carl Valeri in midfield, and Bessart Berisha up front. And what a beautiful night for football. The roof open tonight at Etihad Stadium. Currently 22 degrees, a bit of a breeze whipping around, but it shouldn't affect the players at pitch level. So many memories for the Melbourne victory throughout the history of the Hyundai A-League. And this man will be looking to rewrite a few chapters. Bessart Berisha, one of the main men to watch tonight. 48 goals for the Brisbane Roar in three seasons. And now on the books of the Melbourne victory, he scored an equaliser in the grand final against the Wanderers to deny them last year's championship. Brendan Sandlab, as we saw in the opener, was looking forward to taking on Berisha again tonight. There's Del Pierre, the Frenchman, the rock around which Kevin Musket wishes to build a more solid defensive unit for the Melbourne victory after they had the second worst defensive record last season. So we are away in season 10 of the Hyundai A-League. The Melbourne victory against the Western Sydney Wanderers to kick things off Robbie Slater. And the fans have come to the party too. Well, the build-up has been massive and this has not let anyone down already. The stadium water must be pushing 35,000, maybe on the way to a 40,000. Buzzing, there's 1,300 travelling Wanderers fans and what a pre-season they've had. And that's what it's all about for the Wanderers. They're expected to hit the, the ground really running after high-intensity Asian champion League's games where they are now in the final. For the victory, it's been the FFA Cup, their intensity there at home and these are two of the favourites for this season's championship. Hasn't missed too many games since joining the Wanderers. And there's a foul from Toliak on Finkler and that's that, that, those two are very important. They've been so important in the Asian Champions League as well but LaRocca and Toliak screening that back four. Quite often playing a line which is not ideally what you want but it does work for the Wanderers the way Tony Popovich plays. Here's the late tackle, there's one and then there's two thinking that he just nicked that ball but in regards to picking up Finkler who tries to drift in between the lines look what's out here Robbie magic spray for the first time in the Hyundai A-League the old vanishing spray the Melbourne victory were asking if Lee Broxton's in the book why there wasn't a card shown for that challenge but they may take full toll here and they can do and they are in front the Melbourne the first goal of season 10 goes to the new boy, Mathieu Delpierre. Well, what about the delivery from Finkler? Now, it's a, you have to say, set piece from that sort of position. It's a great ball in, but Tony Popovich will not be happy. Delpierre completely frees, pulled off his marker. It's a... He's still got a bit to do. Takes it on the volley and guides his past Ante Kovic. No chance. Great ball in from Finkler. Quality finish on the volley. But slack marking. He's definitely got away from his defender. But what about that from a finish from the big man? They're looking at him defensively. Well, he's popped up with the first goal of the season. And didn't he take it well? 33-year-old Frenchman, Mathieu Delpierre. He's 1m93. An obvious danger, but the Wanderers weren't able to go with him. What a pedigree he does have. Won the Bundesliga with Stuttgart a few years back, played in the Champions League with Lille alongside Mile Sturjowski back towards the turn of the century. And now playing his trade in the Hyundai A League. Well, it's small margins, isn't it? Like, as we showed, Victory's goal could easily have been disallowed for push and shove in the box. 
and then no penalty for the Wanderers when it looked at Stonewall 1 for them. Here's Berisha. And now it falls for Finkler. And a delayed penalty has been given here for handball. Well, did the referee's assistant block see this as well? Referee, no hesitation, straight to the spot. He waited to see if Finkler scored. That's why we've got the delayed whistle. Now the Wanderers want to ask what was Jared Giller's decision, but it looked like handball on the initial cross. The initial cross from Bessar Parisha. I think that's the, the shout. Bessar Parisha comes in. And clearly hits the hand there. And then he allows play on. No advantage, he comes back to the handball from Golic and victory have a penalty. Extraordinary. It's just poor body position from Anthony Golick, really. It was a nothing ball from Barisha. And what a chance now for Bessar Barisha to get off the mark. Barisha sends Comics the wrong way, and the Melbourne Victory fans have a new hero. New season, new club. But same old Bessard Barisha scoring again. Well, that's emphatic from the penalty spot, no question. You can see the determination, the confidence in his face as he struck it. Low and hard pass, Anti Kovic, who went the wrong way. And he's been back. There's the penalty. I think it's a penalty. I think he gets his body position wrong. I think it's a clear-cut penalty. That's the advantage play that nothing came of it. But Bessar Barisha have been banging them in in pre-season, but nothing means more than the opening round where it counts and he gets off the mark for his new club. A contract worth around $1.5 million over two seasons as the international marquee. And Bessar Barisha already delivering 2-0 up inside 20 minutes. Kevin Muscat wants a yellow card every time it's a foul. It's great to see Finkler riding challenges like that. Here's Barbarousas in behind. Didn't whip it across first time. Thompson and Barisha were waiting. And Barbarousas again. This way and that. And now Broxham! It is three! Lee Broxham wearing the captain's armband tonight. Kevin Musket and the Melbourne victory are in dreamland. 27 minutes, absolutely incredible. And again, Wanderers defending was very un Wanderers like. And it all started, you've got to credit this one to Barbarousas. He gets in behind Shannon Cole, his position's not great, his starting point. Usually whips that one across, then it's just quick feet, little nutmeg, and they don't want to dive in. They've already given a penalty. Goes for the shot here, rebounds, that's another mistake. Poliak should be just clearing that. He tries to take a touch, it's a heavy touch and Broxham pounces. He's already had a couple of shots in this game. This one, he gets one and he makes it a count. It crashes into the back of the net. Kevin Musket can't believe it. You said it, Speedy. It's dream time at Eddie Had. You just wonder if Lee Broxham would have been able to get into this starting 11 if Mark Milligan was available. You doubt it. 156 A-League games now for Lee Broxham, and that's just his third career goal. When he got into the lineup, he turned on the style, and they started a campaign, the Victory fans, ink the fink. No, no, you started the campaign. <laughs> and I think it ended with hashtag no-brainer. <laughs> and here we go, right through the middle is Bridge to get one back before half-time. The Wanderers have a lifeline, and it's Mark Bridge, the club's greatest ever goal scorer, out of nothing, really, well, to make it 3-1. Well, he had time to let it come down. That's an important goal. Before half-time, they don't deal with it. It's the first header from Leia, then it's just a lob ball. Del Pierre gets himself in a poor position. It goes, well, does it, it goes through Nathan Coe. Here it comes down nicely for Mark Bridge, and it's just... I think it's too close, too much power for Co to get a strong hand onto it. Well, that'll lift their heads. Georgievski to make a bind with Thompson again. Being marshaled by Mullen and forced into error. Bridge finding Santa Lab. 
It's what the Wanderers play for, trying to hit teams on the counter-attack, but snuffed out by Del Pierre. Oh, there was great recovery, wasn't it, from Del Pierre? That'll be it. Well, take a breath. What a start to Season 10 of the A-League. That first 45 had everything. Bessar Parisha has got his first goal for the victory from the penalty spot. Del Pierre, he opened the scoring for the victory. Lee Broxham powered one home to make it 3-0. The Wanderers thought they should have had a penalty very early in this one to try and make it 1-1. Just before half-time, Mark Bridge did get them on the score sheet. And that's why we had that scoreline at half-time at Melbourne Victory 3, Western Sydney Wanderers 1. By Bridge. Good enough by feet to find Guerrier, who did very well too. Bring that under control. Saw Valeri's understanding with Finkler already developed in the lengthy pre-season. Now Bessart Barisha encouraged to shoot and breaks almost for Finkler. Somehow it wound up under Barisha's spell again. That's a free kick. And they wasted that opportunity. He should have released to the left-hand side, Archie Thompson, Bessar Parisha, but we know, and we've seen it so many times, uh, you want your striker at times to be selfish, so you see Archie Thompson, and then probably Georgievski was the, the best ball there. That's a shot, and then he should have played it again, which is the wrong option. Turnover, and Leia hit Parisha straight away, who hits Archie Thompson! did you expect? Archie Thompson with just the keeper to beat. He makes it 4-1. The number 10 doing it again in season 10. What did I say about the best of the decade? Still producing on the biggest stage, Archie Thompson and Bessar Barisha didn't make the right option moments before. Sloppy ball out of defence from Golik and there he plays the perfect pass. His first touch sets it up for the finish. Bessar Barisha, two touches, head up, sees Archie Thompson making the diagonal run from outside to inside. First touch sets it up and finishes it clinically past Antti Kovic. Brilliant play. Capitalising on the mistake from the Wanderers. Another one, another uncharacteristic mistake in Archie Thompson. He's still loving it after a decade and he's still producing it. Take a bow. Goal number 79 for the A-League's greatest ever goal scorer. Two clear now of Shane Smeltz. Well, this injury time period has normally been Fickler time in this fixture. He scored in stoppage time the last two games was the free kick equaliser and then to round off a 3-1 win back in January but we want to hurry up <laughs> yeah, there's not much time left 10 now. seconds the Wanderers might have the final chance referee checks his watch and for just the second time in 10 seasons, the Melbourne victory on opening weekend claim all three points. They dominated the opening period tonight. Three goals in the first half hour, including one from the penalty spot from their big off-season acquisition in Bessart Barisha. Tony Popovich loses on the opening weekend for the first time. Well, plenty think Kevin Muscat's side are the team to beat in season 10. And it's a sure, impressive way to start. They were fantastic. A penalty call, a good one against them. Could have given the Wanderers a chance to make it 1-1 after Del Pierre opened the scoring and then appeared to foul Brendan Sandelab. The referee didn't point to the spot that time around and the victory ran right. Adrian Leia had a rock solid game tonight as well. What about the evergreen Archie Thompson, who was on the score sheet again tonight? He made the points safe pretty much in the second half. Guy Finkler outstanding again. he go close to man of the match honours, you'd reckon. Full time here tonight. 
Melbourne victory for Western Sydney Wanderers 1.